What are your thoughts on this momentous occasion? I have no strong feelings one way or the other. Yeah, baby! Ready for today's challenge? You're fun. You say what you think, like you're already drinking. I do believe we've met. Maybe we could get to know each other over a coffee. This is a shout out to all my bros, man! Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Avengers Infinity War is heading towards an opening weekend that could end all opening weekends. The Marvel superhero adventure is eyeing a debut weekend of between $225 million and $245 million, with some experts even predicting that it will cross the $250 million mark. If numbers reach the end of that range, Infinity War could have one of the biggest debuts of all time. As of now, the biggest opening weekend of all time belongs to Star Wars The Force Awakens with $248 million in 2015. Yesterday on Ellen, CNN's Jake Tapper said Trump has lost his mojo with insulting nicknames. He doesn't really personally go after you because you don't have a nickname yet. Because when you have a nickname is when he's, you're really the target. I'll be honest. The President Trump has a lot of uh, skills, and I used to think his branding skill was amazing. Little Marco or Lion Ted, Low Energy Jeb, Crooked Hillary. He's kind of lost his mojo on the, on the nickname front. He yeah. tried to do it with Comey, and he's been trying out all these different nicknames. He had Lion Comey, that didn't seem to work. Liar and a Leaker Comey, Slippery Comey, Slime Ball, first Slime Ball, two different words, <laughs> then Slime Ball, one word. <laughs> Try, he's, he's he clearly tr you know, trying new material, uh -huh, as right. one does. Yeah. Um, and it hasn't really caught on. Yeah. I don't know if he's just so ensconced in the White House, he's lost his, uh, his ability to do right. it. But no, he has not come up with a good nickname for me yet. And now, great moments in journalism. To defend democracy and did the best they could. The Walter Cronkite, good morning. Good evening, I'm Hugh Dowers, and this is 2020. This is Tom Brokaw reporting. Gina Rodriguez added a num another member to her family. She adopted a nine-week-old puppy. What's it is dog? a Havanese. I'm not familiar with these What's dogs at all, but it's super, super cute. Oh, God. It looks, it looks terrier-y, kind of. So it was $2,500, but... <laughs> <laughs> Two point five thousand. No. No. Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. No point. And the license? The license was ten point five dollars. That's it for great moments in journalism. Porn star Jessica Drake said in 2006 she turned down an offer of $10,000 to have sex with Donald Trump. As all guys know, getting turned down for sex is bad enough. Getting turned down for sex after offering $10,000, that's going to leave a mark. A picture of former President Obama making First Lady Melania Trump smile has gone viral. In fact, it's historic, the first time ever a president has brought joy to Melania. Chicago's O'Hare and Midway airports will begin offering travelers unlimited free Wi-Fi. So, during long layovers, passengers can spend all day on social media complaining to everyone that they're stuck in Chicago. A 20-year-old Colorado dude has survived a rattlesnake bite, a bear bite, and a shark bite. Or as I call them, three things that cannot happen to me while laying on my couch. A TV sports reporter was caught on camera stealing a team jacket belonging to security staff of the Golden State Warriors. Apparently, he now leads the league in steals. Scientists just found out that the planet Uranus smells like somebody farted. And yet it was Pluto we thought wasn't good enough to hang out with the rest of us. Authorities in Southern California are looking for a pair of thieves targeting Trader Joe locations. They're both described as in their 20s, around 5'8", and prefer paper over plastic. Time for Nobody Gives a f Amazon will now deliver packages to your car. Question, do I have to slow down to get that service? Hey, Amazon, nobody gives a f the earnings for Coca-Cola are up, and apparently so is everyone's blood sugar. Hey, Coke, nobody gives a f 
And two Republican Colorado lawmakers have introduced a bill that would punish teachers with jail time if they go on strike. Hey, these are public school teachers? You can't scare them with jail. So wait, no kids and there's a place for me to lie down? Sign me up. Hey, idiot Republicans, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests live Tuesdays and Thursdays on NSS.